Do we need to do one of these? And no. we're in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome to the Friday episode 10 minutes where we ask, or you ask the questions, we answer them. You can join our Discord, 50percentfacts.com. Join the Discord. It's a community. Think of it as like Reddit meets WhatsApp. Um, you get early access to all the drops. You get exclusive deals and discounts. Plus, you get a like-minded community that's all just good company. Um, join there. And on the left, you'll see something called group chat, and that's one of the... the um, called forums the other one's called one good question in there you can just ask us anything you want anything on your mind business life friends uh lifting nutrition really doesn't matter ask us anything you cannot answer in there that's not a fucking forum for you to go in there and dick around just ask us a question so i don't have to scroll through all your bullshit <laughs> bro people are going crazy in there right now oh i see yeah they're going crazy in there what right if now. it's all in question form <laughs> <laughs> this question mark the, <laughs> fuck you yeah fuck you <laughs> uh so today, since we have the whole squad here, I think it's a good idea. <clears throat> um, it's our boy Keith who asked majority of the best questions. Sorry to everyone else out there that asked shitty questions, but <laughs> um, so welcoming. Join our Discord. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want me to join a Discord and lie to them all? No, I love that. You love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, everyone needs a little honesty in their lives. <laughs> um, Keith asks, "What are some unexpected changes you have had to make the gym or your business model since opening the doors?" Well, that's a rough one. Unexpected Whoa. changes. Uh, yeah, one big change is on my right. Training. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually that's for the probably the we didn't one. want you. No. You just had to. We, for the we were forced our hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I think uh, personal training classes, um, and even having more employees in general is is. We didn't have a number, I don't think, but we always said, and we still do. Like, I got one now, but of how many employees we yeah, want. Yeah, yeah like I, I always thought in my head, probably under five um total and obviously like we have a couple like people that are contracted yeah. and you know there's graphic designers and there's a bunch of pieces that we use but employees employees i always had under five um but we could get by with like two um and then two in an abbey showed up yeah hello mm -hmm. i mean um i'm glad you guys brought me in <laughs> uh, I don't, a lot of it i don't was know the the I don't know the thought process behind it. Um, uh, for my thought process of uh, not bringing you in, that was a joke, but uh, the thought process of smaller team is just that we can all be on the same page and execute bar better. So, like, yeah, people are going to have more responsibility um, for probably eventually, hopefully, more pay, and I think that's better because uh, people having skin in the game and caring about what we're doing matters way more than having 30 employees and the bottom person just thinks of this as another job, you know, like a weekend job. I don't need those employees around. I don't want to manage that type of energy. Um and then the other idea is obviously just pure money. Like, if you have 20 employees, side rant, I was listening to fucking, uh, what's it called now on Twitter where they do like a talking deal? You know, they do like live yeah, podcasts. Yeah, I don't know what that's called. I was on one of those. I don't know what I was doing. I was scrolling around on Twitter at like 10 at night, mm -hmm. right as I'm about to pass out, and Elon's on there just jabbing, and all that shit's just so interesting to <gasps> me. Was it live? Live, bro. Oh, my what? God. What did he say? And so it, it was like all, and then I dive in. I'm like, what's going on in here, you know? Because he's been doing some weird shit. Yeah. I wanted to bring that up in the other podcast, but we are just rolling so good. Uh, this one, for some reason, was like, it seemed like software and programmers only because they were saying a whole bunch of shit. I had no clue what was going on. Mm. And they're talking about like how they're going to re they're totally re uh, programming all of Twitter. Mm. Um, and in a couple of years, they're just going to make the switch to that because how it's set up right now is so complicated that they can't get employees in there to like fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's like yeah, so they, dense. They like, had to do that with Instagram. They had yeah. to rebuild Instagram from scratch a couple years ago. Yeah, huh. because it's so old and so layered, and and like Outdated. it's right. and, and it's custom programming. I don't know shit about software programming out there, so sorry if I butcher this, folks. But basically, like it's so customized where there's other platforms you can normally build apps on, but they didn't use any of those. They only oh. use their own shit. Oh, custom shit. So yeah. th these all these program software guys are in there like ripping Elon. Like, well, how long would it take you to then hire someone to do this? Like, and be productive, and you know, just but bigger picker picker um fuck i don't know oh what i was going at is that i think uh don't quote me on the numbers but twitter like had like eight thousand people in their mm -hmm. hq and busted it down to two thousand when elon took over that's not total employees that's about like one headquarters um and in my head i was like oh that's like good because then each 2001 you're probably paying people you don't need right and when you get corporate stuff gets lost in the mix all the time mm -hmm. like they're spending 16 million dollars a year on uh feeding their team for lunch Jeez. and he's like dude we got to fix this um the average plate cost was like 400 dollars. oh wow you know like yeah, just yeah. crazy shit like yeah. that and so like that's that, insanity that stuff he's cleaning up um but back to the employee thing like i would rather have you know four people get on my squad getting <laughs> paid the same amount that i would pay 10 people instead of having 20 people all get like whatever 
And obviously that's when we scale. And that's mm. probably where Twitter's going too, right? Like you'd rather have more valuable people do more work, take more responsibility, mm. but then catch the benefits as well while lowering your overhead. So overhead's obviously a big piece of it too, why we don't want 100,000 employees. Um, and I just don't want to manage a bunch of bitches. But yeah, yeah the yeah. biggest thing is we didn't want training. We didn't want coaching. Uh, I wanted it to be an open gym just because I know how complicated it gets. And selfishly, Jim and I didn't want to have a coach in here that didn't represent uh, the level of knowledge, experience, or culture that we had. Um, and then you met me. And then we met you, the dude. The perfect thing ever. <laughs> Just a lost puppy on my front porch. Actually, when you first brought it up to me, like we hadn't even talked that much. I knew who you were, but I wasn't going to be all like, I wasn't going to be all starstruck or anything. I'm just going to act normal. And That's be, why you asked Kyle for my cool. autograph instead. <laughs> I didn't even talk not. to Abby. I don't even talk to her for like, the first, I don't know. She didn't, she, <laughs> it was very intimidating. What? Abby's very intimidating. Yeah. Oh the my God. The first like two months, she just like, kind of gave me a look. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, she's lifting very, uh, a lot of weight. I don't, <laughs> I don't, don't want to be, <laughs> I'm a little girl. I don't want to get in her way, you know? Um, I'm just focused on my training. That's all. You hate us. That's right. No, yeah. that's how I get to where I am. Anyway, um, but I remember like, we talked and I told you that I work at Crunch and then you you keep bringing up the idea of me like, like bring them here, like work here. I'm like, oh, he just wants me to bring members. That's cool. Like, I get it. You In know? the beginning, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you started bringing up the idea like of me coaching here uh, at some point. I'm like, I guess. Yeah, that'd be cool. But I'm like, oh, he's just being nice. And then you thought I was lying. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> nice. the, the, and then the time that you I thought the cold was getting to me, my, <laughs> my yeah. thoughts weren't working clearly. Yeah, I don't <laughs> you know. You just want someone here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, just trying yeah. to get out. Some people do that. They just for like, sure. They want to be nice. Or um, people say things and don't follow through. Right. Like people throw out ideas like that and then never actually mean it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, dude, we should totally start a hoodie company yeah, together. Like, oh, like yeah. That. And then you come back in a month like, dude, the hoodie company would be cool. Like, yeah, it was just joshing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. So I don't know if it was one of those. It's like li White Lotus first season for people who watched. People who <laughs> I've heard that's for, good. For, for those who celebrate. Yeah, there was a yeah. whole issue like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the only time, the, s the second time you brought it up and you're like, I've and then you said, I've always wanted to kind of do it, but then there's like so much going on, and then I didn't have the time or resource or whatever to actually like focus on building that, and then finding someone who also um, represents like Third Street Barbell the way that you guys do, mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, he means it. Like, I think <laughs> he actually <laughs> wants it to it to happen, and that's when I told my friends like I think he's serious. <laughs> like this might be an opportunity. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a big one, and then the other one has flip flopped, where I think in the beginning. This is just my perspective. All four of you may have a different one. In the beginning, we thought, um, or I thought, we'd have probably like 70% competitive power lifters, 30% um, power builders. Mm -hmm. And then we opened the gym, and for the first year, we probably had Avi as the only competitive power lifter. We had Sebast and his brother who wanted to, but they had never competed before, mm -hmm. so they weren't. And everybody else was more of like just a rando. Tiff. Mm -hmm. Tiff, Tiff, uh, and Phil were some of the only yeah, competitors. Yeah, they, the, they, they were like the only ones. Yeah, um, yeah. Very much in the minority. And, and even them, yeah, they were before you. So even Abby joining was like a year a into the later. gym being open. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and I was like, oh, all right, power builders. Like, all right, that's fine. We'll just, and I, we've said this from the beginning, I think, together. It's like, we'll just adapt the equipment we purchase based on who shows up. More right. power builders, more machines. We don't, we don't trip. Like, we just want people to enjoy the space and get better and, and build a community. I don't care what your ultimate goal is besides getting better. Um, and so then I think I had that in my head for about six months. And then turn around to now, we probably are 70% competitive powerlifters or want to be. We got to name the boys. What do we name The fucking Fast and Furious crew or something? Yeah. Tokyo Drift. Yeah, the Tokyo, <laughs> Tokyo Drifters. Tokyo Drifters. <laughs> we got a crew of boys that are all in like the automobile space. They're uh, sick. Yeah, 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 and they're a big part of the community. We'll yeah, we'll call them the Tokyo Drifters. <laughs> uh, the Tokyo Drifters showed up, and they all like are about powerlifting. Mm -hmm. um, plus, the, plus the Sac State homies that train yeah. at noon. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of Hornets kids in here. The frat boys. Yeah, the frat boys, yeah, literal. Yeah, yeah, uh, literally. The frat boys that are all into powerlifting. So it probably has gone back twice now in my brain of who we have yeah we talked about the uh, just in the last episode we we're talking about barbell brigade and sort of the pattern that they sent and like uh, the the member that we're requiring right now like a good 70 percent maybe or more of those are people who would be members of barbell brigade if they were near barbell brigade in la yeah and uh, i did well, not you think bart has the same issue as us you think like no one does and then uh People Bart will meet somebody and they'll like live in Chinatown, which is literally a rock's throw from Barbell Brigade. And they're like, dude, big big fan. And they're like, oh, you go to Barbell? And they're like, no, no, yeah, you go no. to this commercial gym. Bart's <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, I don't understand that. Yeah, me yeah. either. Or how many people ask me if we're hiring and shit? I'm like, well, and I and I don't even know if I could legally do it or not. So I try to tiptoe around. But I'm like, are you a member? Are you in the Discord? Mm -hmm. Have you bought a shirt? And you don't have to do those things to work for us by any means. But like, 
if I'm trying to go somewhere, I'm tapping in. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to be a part of it. I'm not just trying to get like a ten dollar check. Anywhere you go, even in the corporate, <laughs> in the, even in corporate business, you want in the interview to like mention things that they're doing, yeah. so yeah. they know that you're about it. Yeah, like you're you gonna try interested. to work for Facebook and you don't have an account. Right. Like you should at least have a Facebook account, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think back to the uh, Abby thing is like, I think we started talking about coaching because we were just like, you know, we're just looking for more things to do for the gym and like make more money and stuff like that. And we're like, oh, and like, Abby came along and it was almost like a light bulb kind of situation. I don't know if it was for you guys, but like, sure. kind of like it just made sense. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it was like, damn, like okay, she's a trainer, she's really good, she's super strong, one of the strongest in the country. And she coaches, and she's really good at it. It's yeah. Like, okay. Well, like. Kinda, and she doesn't have another. Like it kind of like met them. in the middle this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Versus like if she wasn't here, I think we'd still be kind of talking yeah, about it right now. Maybe like kind of filtering people in and out. And I probably like, I probably would have started a class yeah, myself, yeah. which would make me extra grumpy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Please, yeah. please, none, of please none of that. Yeah, um, that's where I was kind of at. Yeah. No, yeah. literally, that's what I'm saying. So we'd been in that boat. We'd have been like, damn, we might have to hire someone outside. Then yeah. now all of a sudden we don't have a. We have just a professional relationship with someone not, not someone, right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. there's you someone that's mean? actually on the team rather than just like a coach because we do allow yeah. some trainers to train their folks here um and no offense we have some awesome trainers here but th- they're not on the team like it's just a little bit yeah, different yeah. um yeah my f- um my feeling about anything rel- relative to employment is that you kind of want to be the most obvious suspect you know like and and make yourself like oh that person would would fit in i think that it is easy in this industry in particular to kind of slouch into the people who just hiring the people who are around right without mm-hmm. thinking about like also qualifications yeah it's gotta be a mix for sure yeah it has to be a mix <laughs> yeah yeah like a lot of yeah. our consulting type positions like we said we had employees and then we just have like consulting type folks um aren't necessarily lifters by any means right they're just best or good at what they do mm-hmm. and so we use them for that um but yeah, I think if you're trying to be like part of the gym and part of the culture, yeah, you got to dive in. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this wasn't the closest gym to me. It wasn't convenient. And I yeah. was, I mean, Crunch is not a great gym to compare this to, but I went out of my way and like, it's, what is it? What, the membership there was maybe $15 a month. So I'm paying more and people that would just, their mind gets blown when they think about like paying anything like yeah. for a premium mm-hmm. gym. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I'm all about it. Though. Like I yeah. will drive, I will pay. Yeah. Like I, it's complete opposite direction of where I live and where I worked. Mm-hmm. So I had to come here way earlier and then get there on time to train earlier clients. So it was not convenient, but I was about yeah. it. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Those You're, people don't, yeah. they don't know. Right. Like yeah. it's just a different world. There's it's a little yeah. different. Yeah. World. And I'm like, don't come here. It's yeah. fine. You can just, you can stay there. There's like the tan tangible stuff right like all right you're paying for literally a better barbell literally a better plate and like we could justify all that but then you can go to the next level of like community Mm -hmm. being around like-minded people like you literally can't pay that Mm -hmm. like they always talk about being the brokest and dumbest person in the room uh because then you surround yourself you're going to elevate right Mm -hmm. and so it's kind of like that when it comes to powerlifting if you're around stronger people if you're around people that do it more that love it just as much as you you're just going to excel there's just no way you don't um rather than crunch yeah you can be complacent and stagnant there no yeah no 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 offense to any of those folks because i'm sure there's somebody there getting after it but chances are you're paying 15 bucks to feel good about having a gym membership and then you just show up and do the treadmill and some bicep curls and talk to Sally. Yeah, and if you are like a little bit, uh, you're kind of strong, you feel like the strongest person in yeah. the gym, but you're you're not pushing yourself because you're like, well, I'm stronger than most people here. Yeah. No one's mm-hmm. squatting 275. Yeah. And yeah, and you don't have to be a power lifter to enjoy like a good gym. Like the, the mm-hmm. first gym I went to, obviously I was paying a strength and conditioning coach because um, I was trying to play basketball, but like even that, everyone there is getting after it. Like mindedness. It really is just like mindedness. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't have to compete, you don't have to do shit, but if you actually want to get better at something, thing um and enjoy the process of getting better yeah you're better off around mm-hmm. that people type who of are like ambitious and passionate 100 yeah was it his question was like what are the obstacles unexpected obstacles yeah or, or like what are things changes. that changes that well, we pivoted oh, changes. unexpected <laughs> changes i really thought this room would be warmer uh, yeah <laughs> after insulating <laughs> it and shit I thought we'd have thought we'd have heating in here <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean the installation was a, a mixed bag of success and non-success yeah. i mean sacramento for some reason i i some of it might be getting old because i see all these people tweet memeing it and i feel like when people tweet meme it like there's some truth to it they're like damn uh, is this the same weather i used to run through the club with with a short skirt on and shit <laughs> <laughs> you know but i do feel like this year's hella cold yeah. okay it yeah. does get pretty cold. Too. It was really cold last year too. I remember. Really? Then yeah, yeah maybe yeah. it is just me getting old and being bitchy. I remember us being super. That's why I bought. Remember we bought <laughs> yeah, gloves that's true. and shit. And yeah, I was yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It was earlier. Cold, man. But like, oh, wait, we were here earlier too. Yeah, yeah, it is true. Once you start moving around, it's just because we work here. Like lifting, it doesn't bug me as much. Podcasting, yeah, your toes used to be cold. It's unexpected changes like warmer socks and gloves. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, for sure. New haircuts. New haircuts. Yeah. 
This was the life change. <laughs> 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 this was the quarter life crisis cut. Yeah, I'm no. trying to think like what else, like what other changes we made. I mean, yeah, not I mean, really like nothing crazy. I don't think. No, I think that's like the software, I guess. Yeah, like yeah. little stuff. But I think that's Public. the truth. Like I said in the beginning, where if you have like the same guiding light and we all know our why and we are mm -hmm. all on the same mm -hmm. page, like yeah, all the little stuff's fluff. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we said no coaching, but then this coaching aligned with the the north, you know, the northern star we're following. Yeah. And so if the coach aligns with that, yeah, all right, you can hop on the path too. Like we're heading towards <laughs> this north yeah, star. Yeah. And, and things might come into our gravity, you know, and, and pull in, but we're, we're not going to switch and go to Little Dipper. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, software, equipment, mm -hmm. who's here, what events we run or don't run, mm -hmm. yeah. all that kind of, you know, like we talked about running events and then, like, what do those look like or what are they not? And then we're like, oh, we'll try second Saturday. And we had a couple down yeah. ones, a couple up ones. We're like, all right, we'll just keep going and see what happens. And now they're fucking bumping. Yeah. So every second Saturday of every month, we've we got a fat crew in here lifting weights. Yeah. Um, and do we win off that? Like, business-wise, maybe not, but, like, it definitely helps the community people yeah. have fun they see what it's like to be around like-minded people and so all right that hits the north pole or, or the north star yeah. so let's keep on that um and yeah i'm sure plenty of things will change but if you kind of again know know the ultimate it, as a human i call it like your code or your morals as a business you'd call it a business plan mm -hmm. or, or whatever you want to call it yeah mission statement or philosophy mm -hmm. business philosophy if you kind of know that then nothing's that yeah. obscure of a change we're not going to become a software right. company overnight or we're yeah, not going like, to yeah you know yeah. get rid of barbells yeah. and do whatever and you know you're expecting those those things to adapt to right yeah it's more adapting than change we're all new to it yeah i mean we're all new to it That's yeah it's like yeah. With, with our first software our first software was fine like it worked it got yeah. you know money went in and out it was you know we can manage members cheap. somewhat yeah cheap mm -hmm. there are obviously major flaws in it that's why we switched yeah um but i think regardless of that that's just like in the weeds we, that's fine we got to figure it out now now we're like pretty locked in like we yeah. have all the data we need very simply it's nice um I think what I like, I don't know, it's not necessarily a change, but what I've noticed us kind of change into in a really good way is that we're open to the public, obviously, but when, like, people come in here, they feel like, like, damn, like, I'm like I'm in a really, like, private spot. I'm in yep. a really comfortable place. Like, a lot of the times they'll ask, uh, a lot of them, like, when they come from, like, a commercial gym, all of them, because it makes sense, they'll say, um, oh, do you guys have, like, lockers? Like, where do I put my bag? And, like... I'm like, hey, man, like, nobody here will ever touch your stuff. Yeah. Like, that's just how it is. And I'm like, and we have cameras just, you know, for whatever, just for safety, insurance, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, nobody will, you know, they'll know you by name by the time you leave kind yeah. of place, you know? And like, yeah, it's more of a club. Yeah, and I'm like, if you need help, which people still struggle with, like, asking for help and things like that, mm -hmm. I could tell. It's just a fitness for some reason, No, it right? is. Like, it fitness is. for some reason. It's embarrassing to people. It is. Yeah, It yeah, is. Yeah. There's, there's for some which I get reason. Which I get it. I've been there. And then, like... And so, like, I like that change a lot where I'll tell them, I kind of make that part of the opening, like, statement when I'm talking to them about our gym is, like, I'm like, bro, you can ask anybody for any help and you'll be fine. Like, I don't care if I don't care if you have 10 pounds on the bar and you're failing on a bench. Yeah, no one cares. Like, someone's going to go over there and help you lift it up and then they're going to maybe give you a pointer on something, too. And like, then give you not, a fist bump after. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I'm like, yeah, especially yeah. with the bag. They're like, oh, where do I put my bag? I'm like, bro, you can put, leave it right there and it won't yeah. get touched for three years. Like, yeah. literally, <laughs> unless I grab it. You know, or, or Avi or Seabass. And it'll be lost, lost and found. Yeah, I'm like, somebody will, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you're totally fine, bro. Like, Yeah, very much is a club like that, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. It feels very homey. Feels very homey and like, also people get after it yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's kind of what we want i love it i would say one more thing and this is a this is something that we're in the process of right now and that is um thinking of ourselves more as two separate businesses as opposed to just one yeah mm -hmm. i kind of knew that was going to happen eventually i did too yeah but like at the beginning like what what else are you going to do you can only think so broadly it's good though. I mean, it's growing right on both ends right right, right. Yeah. and it, they I can mean, stand alone yeah mm -hmm. and but we need i mean the first couple of years we needed the apparel to keep everything afloat yeah. honestly mm -hmm. and and now there's an um a, a real chance to move that forward yay yeah yay. i mean it's grown enough the gym exploded man it felt like yeah it's so crazy i was talking to yeah. uh vlad uh matt who yeah. works for me vladimir and, uh, Putin. yeah his <laughs> vladimir's is uh what was his name <laughs> just vladimir it's his gamer name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vladimir, right? Voided. Vladimir Voided. Yeah, what is Vladimir that? Vladimir Voided. No gamer idea. name is the best. And then he's like, he's like Ziz. And yeah, we just call him Vlad. Matt but the Killer Whale. Yeah, Matt yeah. the Killer Whale. Yeah, and his yeah. name's Matthew with an I, I E U. Very French. French. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But shout out my boy Matt. But uh, I was talking to Matt about. So many Matts. Like how small uh, or how short it's been since like California like got rid of the masks or like the real pandemic ended mm -hmm. or whatever, you mm -hmm. know? Like I think the real pandemic ended like. September 20th. Mm -hmm. This year? <laughs> yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, right? And we've only been without masks in California since like May. 
Yeah. And when did the ball start rolling? Had Fucking this... May. <laughs> like, yeah. There's June... still some places with masks. Yeah, for like, sure. But, the... like, yeah, June, yeah, but like June, June, still... July, like the, the the is the only time like the world's been quote unquote like normal. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. there's still like some battle wounds there for sure. Yeah. 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 So for us to kind of you know grab some momentum around there makes sense, which feels good. Has this year felt long to you guys? Every year feels long as shit to me lately. This feel this year has been really long. It this feels long, long, but then really like some long. aspects, some things feel like they're going like really, really fast. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like it's already. Gonna it be felt long for you or short? Mm-hmm. Long. Really? So long. Just because like, so much happened, or so what? much happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just and when sometimes I think, that makes it feel short, though. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, I mean, I feel like because I would think about things like what happened. Um, I don't know where I was before, and I'm like, what? When was that last year? And I'm like, wait, that was this year. That was like earlier, like yeah. February, March, and never have would I have thought that I would be where I'm at now at the end of uh, 2022. And all that happened was he starting August. Like my classes started August 1st. Yeah. yeah. Or like something like that. And yeah, that was just aware. a few months ago. Yeah, it's only five months. It's insane. Like, yeah. I and now know. look at you. You're on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on here before. Not yeah. before August. Not well, before maybe August. once for your yeah. meet. Yeah. I think, oh, yeah. uh, I think demeanor, like we talked about previously, like on the other episode, um, like demeanor towards, uh, people that are looking to join the gym ish, like it's kind of just changed. I, I think it's just overall confidence in the gym, in you guys, like in everything. Yeah. I just mm. know what we offer. Yeah. And I'm like, you're gonna walk like I used to be like so picky about everything. I think it's just being a like part of a business slash like manager or whatever is like in the beginning, if there's a pe- like a speck of like a thing over there, I'm like, what is that doing over there? And I'm looking at it. Now I'm like, obviously like if I clean that five minutes from now, someone's gonna put it right back. Or you know, there'll be some yeah, issue. Yeah. You just find like a, a, a procedure and yeah, then also yeah. like proven recipe where mm. I've never been a chef, so I can't speak on it, but I'd imagine that if it's my first time opening my own restaurant, I don't even know if this food's good. So I'm putting this plate in front of Jim, like I hope you enjoy. Exactly. Please where don't open a restaurant. Isn't there. Yeah, we're like <laughs> soft yeah. opening. It's yeah. the same exact. You know, we're like, or even for the first year, like, man, I hope they like this fucking mm-hmm. calamari. Where the next time I'm like, bro, I know I got the best calamari uh, in town. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't like it, recipe. get out. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, you don't like the calamari? Well, then you don't know what good calamari is. No, it's not that, you, that's it's me, bro. That's literally how yeah. I am now. Yeah. Like, if they say something, like, it's crazy. It, some people will, I'll, I'll tell them like the the price, and they're like, that's it. Yeah. Like, that's all you guys are doing, because like they know down the street or not down the street, right? wherever it's like 200 yeah and we got showers we do have the shit and but i I 100 percent agree with you kyle because you don't you don't know what you're missing and so like yeah we try to watch everything but we have a small team there's fucking four of us and there are five of Mm -hmm. us and so like we're looking around looking around look around and say we are missing something big you know that happens in life like we were so focused on all this we missed this Mm -hmm. and you wouldn't know that until a member points it out like hey motherfucker you don't have a water or yeah. whatever you know and then yeah that's where yeah. our lack of confidence comes like yeah, damn yeah. are we missing something yeah but we have so much proof in the pudding now it now it's confidence. like they say that and i'm like all right cool thanks bro like yeah. i'm gonna take it seriously <laughs> sure, and sure. i'm gonna just bring it up to you boys and i'm like yeah. oh shit we don't have that we're yeah. not a legit gym we don't have this we're not worth it and now i'm like that's, oh okay yeah. now we just, there's just something we need to add I, d- like, I definitely felt that as a coach too like personal training you mm-hmm. don't it's so hard for you to like I'm charging someone based on what I like. I'm putting the number out there, yeah. which is mm-hmm. difficult because yeah. you want to help them and then you want them to buy in, but you also like um, w- don't want to undersell yourself. Yeah, you got to value yourself. Yeah, so mm-hmm. over time, like I'm just like I I, I can get you here because I I yeah, yeah. proved to myself and I built the confidence through experience and yeah. um, training so many people. Uh, I'm like I know I can help you get to this point, yeah. and if you if it's if the price isn't right for you, or um, if it's not what you're looking for, or whatever it is, you don't believe in me, then it's it's fine. Like yeah, you gotta be okay with letting them go. Yeah, and yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll like people will inquire and then they'll train on their own here and I see them I'm like oh they don't want my training but I'm like it's okay like if they want it they'll see the benefit of yeah, it. Yeah. but I don't yeah. feel it's bad not, it's not a personal thing at all yeah I don't yeah, feel yeah, bad yeah, about yeah, it's yeah. like oh the pricing was too high because I'm like I know my value at this point and I feel the same way about mm-hmm. like you in the gym if you know your value right now at, th- at your age you are lucky Oh, because well, I, I most of so. us struggle with that yeah. forever I think I'm still working on it but it's definitely been better than what it was before yeah because yeah. yeah. people could also be on like a whim type of situation where they're like I want to really get into gear I'm going to do this consultation with Abby and then like a couple days go by and just yeah, motivation. It's kind of yeah. like the, let's open a sweater company together. Yeah. It's yeah. the same yeah, idea. It's, it's yeah. the same idea. And same some people like get a membership. Like they'll come in and be like, yeah, bro, I'm going to start being in here every day, blah, blah, blah. And then like two months goes by and I haven't seen them. I'm like, Oh, I forgot about this person. And then they come yeah. in they're like, yeah, man, I haven't been able to make it. And like, I know there's obviously tons of things in the way. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought but that day like, was about it. Where'd he go? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And it kind of brings me down. Cause I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you could be like I'm watching because I've seen guys do the exact opposite. Right, they're in here only three days a week for a second, and then it's five days and six days, and I'm like, damn, this dude's putting on like three yeah. reds now. Like mm-hmm. this guy's getting really strong, and yeah. he's like 18. I'm like, this is crazy. So yeah. I see that all the time too, which is crazy. I think that's the biggest thing too is like literal members changing in front of my eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'll because me- like I remember once I'll just mention like, hey,
the more serious you get, like the I don't know who he is, but he has the um, hidden village knee oh, sleeves. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy. I mean, shit, he's pulling over for something now. And in the beginning, he was asking me like, "Where do I get programming from?" Yeah, yeah. Mm, and I'm yeah. like, "That's bro. what's and cool now about I this." To, yeah, he has a full program and a coach and yeah. everything. I'm like, "Damn, bro, you like you really took this shit serious and look what happened." Like, Again, dude. about this gym versus another gym. Like you never, dude. I worked at a, a commercial gym for like seven years, <laughs> and you'd never see anyone change or grow. Or no. no, you'd see yeah. the same faces yeah. for seven years. Yeah, I saw yeah. somebody, and nothing would. Bro, it's crazy. Here. As a trainer, yeah, it's yeah. frustrating because yeah. you know that you can't help them, and they put in the time. And the like, yeah, you might in, as well, right? Yeah, they yeah. put in work, but like they don't know what they don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The then, wrong, the wrong work, or the same shit, yeah. or mm-hmm. bad diet. And mm-hmm. then now they're probably wondering to themselves, like, what's what am I doing wrong? And they don't, they have no idea. So. And I'm like, damn, let me just yeah. help you. Yeah, running, yeah. running in quicksand. Guys yeah. like yeah, like Isaac. I mean, all the all your guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Morgan and, and yeah. Matt, Adrian. Yeah, I've yeah. seen Isaac jumped a lot. It's just crazy, man. Even mm-hmm. just like members that I've seen that are just day to day guys. Yeah. Like the construction homie that comes in uh, in the morning. Uh, I forget his oh name. yeah, yeah. So he's gonna be on in the field. So he, he's not gonna be training here anymore. But man, he got jacked. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, you're getting jacked. And they bring in their friends. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was yeah. like, damn. It's really cool this. Like it's just different. I think as they see people train, I'm, and then you just kind of. Push them towards like, yo, bro, get a program. Like, get yeah. on, find a coach, get a program. Do Don't even get a coach. Like, just for now, just find some structure. Yeah. Here, yeah. You know what I mean? There's guidance here for sure, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. They'll yeah. see shit. They'll be like, oh, she's doing this. Like, what is she? Oh, she's pausing there. Why is she doing pauses? Okay, maybe I need to do pauses. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Why is she pulling 365 yeah, for eight? Why, why, <laughs> is she, why is she doing that? Yeah. Are those plates fake? Yeah. And they might not even know what those plates are, no, honestly. Sure not, like, yeah. if they're just like lifting pounds, they're like, oh, she has like. Oh, like two twenty five on there. Yeah. It's two sixty five. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's like, you're like, oh, so yeah. you know, just stuff like that. But then, then they see what it is. They're like, oh, okay, that's a little bit more than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay, last one. The thing that we were never really intending to get that we got a reverse hyper. We have a reverse hyper now. Yeah, we do. Because our experience with reverse hypers is, is we is got the that, cup holder. That yeah, <laughs> cup holder. It's where everybody mixed yeah. up their pre workout. The it's the Bentley of cup holders. Or their po- post workout. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we have one now. Yeah, we should put coasters on it. No. <laughs> even, a, <laughs> even a leg extension. Uh, yeah. I, I, was, I never, like, had it in top of my brain. I never either. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was, like, good price, though. Pops up. Yeah, uh, and yeah. it's solid, and if members like it, it is. What Everyone it is. uses the yeah. shit out of it. Yeah. They use the shit out of that quad extension. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. Yeah. All right. Plug away, Abby, dude. Get your followers On up. On Instagram at avi.lu, A-V-I dot L-I-E-U. L-O-U. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lucy, Lou. new, uh, oh, Kyle, plug away, dude. Um, Kyle dot Castro two O's and that's it. Third Street uh, BB Ooh. on Instagram. No, go on. <laughs> Third Street uh, <laughs> BB on Instagram. Uh, follow the gym for updates. Uh, good company. Um, Three SB on Instagram for all the clothing updates. Uh, brand new episode every single Monday and or sorry Wednesday and Friday. Appreciate you guys so mu- so so much. Happy holidays. Um, so like where you want to find me, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I am at the Jim McD. On all the social media, this show is 50% facts, 4% is a word, and 50 is just numbers. It's just numbers. 50% facts is a Spreaker Prime podcast in association with iHeartMedia on the Obscure Celebrity Network. And in part, during the break, during the the holidays, we're going to be switching to uh, Topic Thunder format, um, short episodes, they're going to get crazy and funny, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and you're going to have a lot of fun for short periods of time in between, and you're going to love it. Trust me on that. Just, just They're going to laugh a lot. Ours is going to be short. Yeah. It'll be 10 minutes for us, but for them, it'll be a lifetime. They'll be, they'll be laughing fun forever. Be. Yeah, they'll yeah. never stop laughing. It'll be. All right.